أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيبي إله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين الذين أذهب عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا واللعن الدائم الأبدي السرمدي وعلى أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أمين رب العالمين we begin in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praises be to him, everlasting and omniscient he is. And we send our peace and blessings upon Muhammad and his holy household and our everlasting damnation and curses upon their enemies. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. And we send our congrat- we congratulate Sahab al-Asri wa zaman on the auspicious occasion that marks the birth of Fatima al-Zahra. Alayha afdalu salati wa atam as salam Welcome back my dear brothers and sisters As we continue our discussion Concerning the beautiful names of Al-Muhammad And we looked at the last narration that we looked at Is the name of course the narration of Jabir ibn Yazid al jufi In which Yom al-Baqir alayhi salam Tells one of his companions ibn Sagheer About how how the, the, just the mentioning of the name Muhammad or the name Ali and by that of course if you by the, when we say Muhammad and Ali in a sense as well the names Fatima, Hassan and Hussein are also names in which Satan when he hears will not be so happy now this next narration is very very beautiful and it really really shows you that love that the Imams alayhum salam carried for their grandfather Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it really puts me in a state of trance and I was I was both in a state of joy and happiness as well in a state of sadness and distress because the Imams alayhi wa sallam know that, that pain that their grandfather Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went through this duration really Manifest that love that they have for their grandfather. This narration is narrated by a man by the name of Abu Harun, and he said, I used to sit by Abu Abdullah, Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, in his gatherings in Medina. And, I, and he had not seen me for days when I came to him. And when I came to him, he said, O oh, Abba Harun, I have not seen you in days. Abba Harun said, I was blessed with a child. The Imam said, May God bless him. What did you name him? He said, Sammaytuhu Muhammadan. Faakbala bi khaddihi nahwal ard wa huwa yakul Muhammad. Muhammad, Muhammad hatta kada yalsuku khaddahu bil ard. So Abu Harun told the Imam السلام, that I had named my child Muhammad. As soon as the Imam heard the name Muhammad, the Hadith said he suddenly fell and placed his cheeks on the ground whilst uttering Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad three times. Abu Harun says to the point wherein it seemed like he had glued his cheeks to the ground. He said to me, listen to what the Imam says, بِنَفْسِي وَبِوِلْدِي وَبِأَهْلِي وَبِأَبَوَيْ وَبِأَهْلِ الْأَرْضِ كُلُّهُمْ جَمِيعًا لِفِدَاءْ لِرَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ لَا تَسُبُّهُ وَلَا تَظْرِبُهُ وَلَا تَسِيءَ إِلَيْهِ وَأَعْلَمْ إنه ليس في الأرض دار فيها اسم محمد إلا وهي تقدس كل يوم. It says, my soul, my children, family, fathers, and the inhabitants of the earth, all of them, may they be sacrificed for the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وآله. Do not insult him, nor hit him nor cause him pain. Know this, there is no household on earth that in it lies the name Muhammad except that it is blessed every single day. 
This is the words of the Imam. So be wary that if you do give your, your child the name Muhammad, that you follow the instructions of the Imam. And any name, Ali, Fatima, you'll see as well for Fatima السلام, because Fatima as well, the mother of the Imams, also has a very... <clears throat> the name Fatima, when it comes to the Imams, it's something that they interact with all the time. The name Fatima is a name that really puts the Imams always in a state of complete distress and sadness. I do have <coughs> one narration here and I have it written here in Arabic and inshallah I'll translate it as it goes on, as we go on to it. Please pay attention to this, especially those who have children with names that with their children with the names of Muhammad or Fatima or these names of Al Muhammad, these are pure names. Be careful. If you wish to just listen to these words, just listen to the words of the Imam alayhi salam, as Sakuni says, Dakhaltu ala Abi Abdullah alayhi salam, wa ana maghmumun makroob. He says, I entered upon Abi Abdullah, Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn Sadiq alayhi salam, while I was in a state of distress, while I was depressed. And he said to me, O Sakuni, why are you depressed? Why are you distressed? Fuqultu, I said, Waladat liya ibnatun. Waladat liya bintun. I was, um, I was blessed with a daughter. He said, the Imam said to a Sakuni, Ya Sakuni, and what did you call her? Ma sammaytuha? Qultu Fatima. He said, I called her Fatima. The Imam then said, Ah, ah, ah. Thumma wada'a yadahu ala jabhatihi ila an qal, Amma id sammaytaha Fatima, fala tasubbuha, wala tal'anuha, wala tadhribuha. The Imam, when he heard the name Fatima, that a Sakuni called his daughter Fatima, he took his hand and he put it on his head and he began to, in, in a distressed and sad manner, say, If you called her Fatima, you should never insult her, never hit her, never curse her if you named her Fatima. He also said, and before that, I skipped a portion, I, I, I apologize. He says, Ya Sakuni, because you were blessed a daughter, عَلَى الْأَرْضِ ثِقْلَهَا وَعَلَى اللَّهِ رِزْقَهَا تُعِيشُ فِي غَيْرِ أَجَلِكَ وَتَأْكُلْ مِنْ غَيْرِ رِزْقِكَ فَسَرَّ وَاللَّهُ عَنِّي He says, Ya Sakuni, a daughter, if you are blessed with a daughter, know that the earth will take care of her. The earth will take care of her. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bestow his sustenance upon her. So do not worry. And then the hadith continues to the part where he asks him, what did you name her? I apologize that I skipped that portion. I was reading it straight from the Arabic text. And the translation, I had not typed it up. But we can see from this narration and the narration before, and we can also extrapolate and expand and say that those who give their children names of Al-Muhammad be very careful when speaking to your children, do not let that anger, that anger which is the root of all evil, take over to the point where you throw an insult at your child. And first of all, you're insulting your child. In the first place, it's not acceptable. And secondly, when you're insulting your child, especially if they're carrying these blessed and Name these blessed names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to the Imams alayhum salam or Fatim Tazara alayhi salam that you may somehow disrespect these names. Now I wish to conclude with the following hadith which is the beautiful hadith which explains the name of Az Zahra. Now we know many narrations. We've heard many narrations on on why Fatima alayhi salam was called Zahra. For example, that when she used to stand in her mihrab in prayer, 
she would radiate and illuminate and the nur from her, the light that would come from Fatima alayhi salam, would fill the heavens and the earth. Or the fact that when she was created and she was presented to the angels, the angels were blinded and then when they asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, what is this nur, what is this light? He says this light is the light of Fatima, of Al-Zahra. And she will be the daughter of the final messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and so on and so forth. We've read many narrations, and of course, we've also read the, the ayah in the Quran, Allahu nuru samawati wal ardu mathalu nurihi kamishkatin fiha misbah. The ayah in the Quran in Surah al Nur, where, where it says the, an example of Allah's nur, of the. Of, Allahu Nuru Samawatu, Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth, and the example of His light is like that light in the corner of a lamp, and that lamp illuminates the dark room. So, Fatima alayhi salam, basically, if you were to take the perspective of Fatima's Nur into, if you would like to take Al Zahra as an example of how, where this name came from, basically, picture a room that is completely dark. And then all of a sudden picture one source of light. Imagine slightly opening the door and a beam of light comes. That beam of light is considered Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, al-Zahra. And that was what happened on that day when everything was dark. When everything was dark and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his nur created Muhammad and Ali. And then Hassan and Hussein and there was no more, loom, no more nur left. And the angels began to go into this array Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a specific soul spirit and a specific nur and combine them and from that combination as Zahra Fatima alayhi salam was created her nur is completely different from the nur of Muhammad and Ali her nur was contained and can only be contained in heaven which is why her nur unlike the nur of Muhammad and Ali alayhi salam which was transferred from Prophet Adam all the way until Abdullah and Abu Talib, the Nur of Fatima, through the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam had to ascend the heavens and take that apple. Or in one narration, the apple was brought forth to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, in which when he sliced the apple, he found a beaming radiating light illuminating the heavens and the earth and from that in his loins became the light of Fatima alayhi salam and from that Fatima alayhi salam was born from Khadija which is why I say the name Zahra is closely connected to the creation of Zahra the creation of Our Lady Fatima peace be upon her now let's continue to the narration because our time is limited and I wish to complete this narration to complete our episode insha'Allah عن سدير الصريفي عن الصادق جعفر بن محمد عن أبيه عن جده عليهم السلام قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم خلق نور فاطمة عليه السلام قبل أن تخلق الأرض والسماء He says that the nur of Fatima عليه السلام was created before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created the heavens and the earth. Then some people that were sitting around the Prophet said, Ya Nabi, Ya Nabi Allah, falaysat hiya in siya, O Prophet of Allah, is she not human? He then said, Fatima hawra'un in siya. The Prophet said that Fatima is hawra'un in siya. That yes, she is a human. She In this dunya, in, on this earth, she is in the form of her human, but her essence is nothing but a hawra, but of that world, of the world of in, in, the univ, in, in the other universe, which is paradise. Hence, we can say she is, a, she is a human, but a transcendent human. As I like to call it, a transcendent maiden, a lady of light. The vessel that she had in this world was that of human form, but her essence was light. قَالَ يَا نَبِيَ اللَّهِ وَكَيْفَ هِيَ حَوْرَاءٌ إِنْسِيَّةٌ They asked the Prophet, and how is she this transcendent maiden? How is she not, uh, or how is she this transcendent maiden made of nur? He said, the Prophet, خَلَقَهَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ مِن نُورِهِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَخْلُقَ آدَمْ إِذْ كَانَتِ الْأَرْوَاحِ فَلَمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ آدَمْ 
urizat ala adam he responds he says to them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created fatima al zahra from his illuminating light before the creation of adam in that world of spirits and when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created adam he presented the nur of fatima al zahra to adam then they said ya nabi allah wa ayna kanat fatima they asked the Prophet, and where was Fatima al Zahra alayha after the salati wa atam al salam at that time? He said, Kanat fi huqqatin tahta saqil arsh. The Prophet responds, he said, She was in a hollow vessel under the throne. Now they begin to ask the Prophet, Qalu ya Nabi Allah, fama kana ta'amuha, O Prophet of Allah, and what was her nourishment? What did she eat? How did she sustain life under the throne? Listen to the Prophet. Al-Tasbihu wal-Tahleelu wal-Tahmeed Her glorification, her magnification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Her tasbih, her prayers, that was her nourishment. فَلَمَّا خَلَقَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ آدَمْ وَأَخْرَجَنِي مِنْ صُلْبِهِ أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلَّ أن يخرجها من صلبي جعلها تفاحة في الجنة وأتاني بها جبريل عليه عليه السلام. He said and then when Allah subhanahu wa taala had created Adam and from the loins of Adam I was born. Allah loved and wanted that Fatima عليه السلام be born from my loins. And for that, he placed nur, the nur of Fatima alayhi salam in the apple in which Jibra'il, the archangel Gabriel, brought, brought forth. And he said to me, As-salamu alayka wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ya Muhammad. He says to the Prophet, Peace be upon you, O Prophet of Allah. He says to him, Ya Muhammad, wa al uh, ya, uh, then the Prophet responds, Wa alayka salami wa rahmatullahi ya Habibi Jibreel. My beloved Jibreel, peace and blessings be upon you. They exchange their greetings and their salam, and then the hadith says, "Fakala ya Muhammad in Rabbuka yaqruuka salam qul tu minhu salam wa ilayhi yaudu salam." Then they, like I said, they began to exchange greetings, and the archangel Gabriel tells the Prophet Muhammad that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sends His peace and blessings, and the Prophet says to the archangel Gabriel, "And Allah is peace, and from Him is the peace and the blessings." Then. The Archangel Gabriel says, Ya Muhammad, inna hadihi tufahatun ahdaha Allahu Azza wa Jalla ilayka min al Janna fa'akhatuha wa dhamamtuha ila sadri. The Prophet took the apple that was gifted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the hands of Gabriel. He took this apple and he placed it close to his heart. And then the Archangel Gabriel tells him, O Prophet of Allah, Allah tells you, eat it. So the Prophet took the apple and he spliced the apple in two and he says as soon as I spliced the apple in two I noticed an illuminating radiating light began to began to radiate from this apple and I and I all of a sudden I was I was scared I was in a state of distress and then the Prophet and then the the, the archangel Gabriel said to me O Prophet of Allah why is it that you do not eat? Eat it and do not be scared. And he ate, the, and then he ate the apple. And then the hadith says, فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ النُّورَ الْمَنْصُورَةُ فِي السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَاطِمَةِ He says, eat this apple. For the light that you see is the light of she who in the heavens, her, her name is Al-Mansura, the aided one. And on earth, her name is Fatima. Then the Prophet says, Habibi Jibra'il, my beloved Gabriel, Wulima summiyat fi sama al Mansura wa fil ardi Fatima. Why is it that in the heavens she is called al Mansura and on earth she is called Fatima? He says, Summiyat fil ardi Fatima li annaha Fatimat shi'atuha min al nar wa Fatima a'da'aha an hubbiha. He says that she was called Fatima because she has weaned. Her Shia from the fires of hell and weaned her enemies from showing affection and love towards her. And then he says, Wahiya fi sama al Mansura, pay attention, O Shia, to these words. 
وهي في السماء المنصورة the aided one ولذلك قول الله عز وجل يومئذ يفرح المؤمنون بنصر الله ينصر من يشاء يعني نصر فاطمة لمحبيها يومئذ يفرح المؤمن الله سبحانه وتعالى in Surah Al-Rum says and on that day the believers will be joyful with the aid of God and God aids whom he wants meaning Fatima will aid those who love her meaning in this ayah in the Quran Al-Mansura the aided one is the aid that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran and those who are lovers of Fatima to Zahra alayha after the salati was salam those who serve Fatima alayhi salam who testify to the rights of Fatima to the merit of Fatima alayhi salam who disassociate from the enemies of Fatima alayhi salam who are complete in their love to Fatima and don't wish to choose and pick whom to love and whom to hate those are the ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and the Quran will be aided and the Mansura, then the title Al Mansura, the aided one, is the title of Fatima to Zahra alayhi salam. Now you can see how beautiful this narration is. How first of all Zahra refers back to the creation of Fatima and how the name Fatima has a connection to the lovers of Fatima and how Al Mansura, the aided one, whom insha'Allah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she aids us on the day of judgment and insha'Allah she accepts our services and accepts our love and I would like to end by saying there is much much more to say especially on the names of Fatima alayhi salam and the deep connection spiritual as well as physical connection that is connected to this world the names of Fatima really can are really do connect with the hearts with the, the believers hearts so inshallah we leave it at that and in the future inshallah if we ever are given another opportunity we will expand more on these beautiful names of Fatima alayhi salam and we only ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our lady of light our majesty Fatima al-Zahra alayha afdul salati wa salam to accept these services and I say والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته